what is up boys and girls empire steve back with you yet again today is monday it is the 21st of november and happy monday mondays are everybody in the world's favorite day as a trader because it is the the weekend's over and the market's back open everybody's ready to make some money but if you don't enjoy making money you got some serious problems anyway just kidding just kidding so i this is you can as you can see my tick tick trader funded account this is the one that i passed last thursday on and on friday i think i made i can't remember maybe it was 1100 and today i've made maybe it was i can't even remember how much i made on friday now doesn't matter my account is now at uh 1935 dollars so i've made a thousand but that's not you know there's fees involved in that so technically i'm up probably like 835 dollars um, compared to Friday but a win is a win um, I'm green green is good so I'm gonna call it quits there I stopped trading a little while ago and now I'm just gonna show you all what I did today to make this money so I'm gonna bring up my charts and I'll show you exactly why so I'm gonna go back to one chart and you're gonna see it on spy so let me fix it this is spy the market opened this morning and we were kind of flat most of the morning we we gapped down basically futures were down um, when spy opened up this morning at four o'clock in the morning and we were pretty much flat and then we kind of broke out of this area of 394.31 I knew when I woke up this morning, I can see that we had the SPY pivot at 395.60 area. And we had this next pivot was down at 393.45. So those were, I was looking for areas to short there. So as soon as we ran up and this, I saw this wick this morning, I'm going to go back to the one minute chart. So we came up to this uh, pivot here on spy so that is when I shorted ES the first time so I went short on ES Oop, hit my mic uh, price came down I did what I always do I trailed my stops and you know I got stopped out at some point I didn't ride this all the way down on ES I'll show you ES and you can see on ES also have this pivot it wasn't as much in play there so i think this trade i made like three or four hundred dollars and then we're gonna go back to spy now and you can see that we failed this pivot and i got in and made the rest of my money right there and i basically have not been trading since then um i did take one or two uh scalps with one contract and i think i basically basically broke even just one contract um, I don't trade the full size whenever I'm, you know, after I've made, I look to make between $500 and $1,000 a day. Like that's my going to be my goal is in making between $500 and $1,000. So any, anywhere in that, if I see an opportunity later, I will only trade one contract. I will not go in more than that. So that's me. You all do you. And you can see price didn't mean to do that. You can see we came from all the way from this spy pivot all the way down to this spy pivot that is a decent size run if you're looking at es the same thing basically so we went all the way from 39 70 not 70 that is all the way to 39 47 that is a huge move if you caught that and you held that all the way down you did crazy actually you know what i made just a little bit of money there and i forgot i actually made money here i saw that we fa kept failing this that's what it was i took three decent trades we kept when I mean, we could not close above this 20 ema i did go short here and i think i made three or four hundred then another 200 and then the rest of it this was the biggest trade that i 
that I made money on today. Like I actually was up more, but I didn't take profit fast enough. It was very, it was quick. Like we came down and then came back up and then went back down. Like it was very fast. So, but basically that's what I looked for. Very easy, uh, nothing too difficult. Anybody could have saw all this action, you know, on ES and or SPY. You could have, could have just watched either one of them get to this pivot and then uh, get to this pivot, that's ES again, and then here you are on SPY. Um, but, and then could have went long down here, scout, and we'll go back to ES, could have went long down here and scout, like this would have, could have scouted this kind of road consolidated on this lower pivot here, and then finally broke out above it. So just say you got in at 39.46, you could have sold for a quick, 39.51 and then if you were really good you could have held here we wanted to test this uh, VWAP didn't quite get there but again at that point I was done trading for the day look at this jeez look at that big old flop there so a lot of action testing this pivot again one we tested the pivot basically once twice Three, four failed big time here, but that was just that was just the market makers stop hunting everybody. So you got if you were if you were long here, you could basically got stop hunted. And then uh, look at all that testing they did today on the pivots. Perfect example of why you should have pivots on your chart. And if you don't, you need to put it on your chart. If you want to learn how to put it on your chart, I have other videos about that, but I will show you again real fast. You know what, let's go do this. Let's remove my drawings. Let's remove pivots, cancel. I will do this. I'm going to remove the pivots so you can't see them. And we are gonna add them together. You go to your indicators and you type in pivot points standard it is just a technical it's not a community script it is technical so you would like save it hit the star button next to it and save it so here and I'll actually do that just so you can see go to pivot points standard you hit this little star button and then you click on it to add it to your chart boom it's there you double click on it and you can change it I like to see three numbers back um, I don't want to see all of them mine is on traditional everything else is default but change this numbers of pivots back to a three and then I take these off and hit OK you can go back in if you want to change it a color you can change the color you just click on it and change the color to whatever color you want you have to do it on each of them so I just keep it there because it's on the on this orange or whatever that is uh, because it does not bother me one bit. Um, I like it. My my trend lines are a different color. They're blue, and my horizontal lines, these are most of the ones I use, are blue. Like, everything else is blue, so I'm okay with that being orange. And I don't have any EMAs that are orange. My VWAP is yellow. My 8 EMA is green, and my 20 EMA is red my 50 ema is blue so uh, that is my chart in a nutshell so basically that is all i wanted to do today i wanted to go over a quick recap on my tick tick funded account um, show everybody again how to get pivots on your charts i get that a question a lot in the discord so there's that and here is my account again so not too bad of a day for me. I hope all of you had a good day as well. And if you didn't, I, I recommend you go back to all of my videos and watch all of my videos uh, and you might learn something. I also wanted to discuss one other thing and we can do that right now. I'm gonna bring it up over here. I'm gonna go to Apex. Trader Funding, Apex is doing a sweet deal right now uh, where, and I have a, my link down below. If you want to use my link, it's in the, in the description down below. Can't miss it. 
Um, just scroll down there and look at all of that. But right now they are doing an 80% off sale. And then the reoccurring monthly charge is also on sale. And it's going to be for the duration of that account. You can have up to 10 accounts. Um, and what you would do is you would go to sign up. And like this, this 50K account right now is only $34 and you just basically take 80% off of any of these numbers and you are like that is that is actually a really a really nice sale right now so it is 100% worth it uh, unfortunately they only use ninja trader so they do have step by step guides on how to get ninja trader onto your pc um, it is mostly for windows based pcs you have to do a little bit of work around to get it up on your on your um uh max or, or your, your max or whatever whatever other pcs you all use i'm a windows only person all of my pcs are windows i don't touch those Macs. but so there's that but they they show you how to get how to get that up on up and running on your windows pc it's not very difficult and then if you needed to do a reset that is 80 dollars. that does not change there's no bonus to that um so there's that so Again, you, if you think you have what it takes and you want to become a funded trader, I do recommend Apex. Their rules are a little different, so make sure you understand their rules. Um, and you have to minimum trading days is ten. I'm definitely going to 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 open up a funded account just because it's so cheap. Only one for me because I don't want to have too many funded accounts. And uh, there's that. So I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And I look forward to doing an, hopefully another recap tomorrow. Pretty busy on Tuesdays. We'll have to see see if that work is like totally shutting down because of the holiday. And we'll go from there. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below, and I will do my best to uh, speak about any questions or comments you might have. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Take care, and hopefully see you tomorrow.